What is going on guys? Welcome to your second tutorial in Java game development. And in this tutorial I'm going to be actually finishing up the last tutorial where we pretty much are going to finish creating a thread. And well let's just go ahead and get started. So actually we need a main method in this so let's go ahead and I probably should have done that before. But I can do it now public static void main string. Come on Haas args and let's go ahead and put main method right there so in our main method again I should have done that before but oh well you guys got some time what you need to do in order to make threads is call oh, caps lock on yep the thread class go ahead and put thread and then name your thread I'm gonna name my t1 and set it equal to new thread but as your parameter for this thread class, you have to write the object that you want to treat as a thread. So new apple, remember I made this apple class right here that we're going to be treating as a thread. And the constructor took a parameter and I'm going to name it 1. So this thread that has the variable t1 is going to be named 1. So let's go ahead and make two more right now. Um, again we're going to be creating three threads from the same class and I'm going to name this one t2 and the variable t3 and the thread's name is going to be 2 and 3 and if you're wondering why I'm typing 1 2 3 it's because this apple constructor remember we passed it in a string variable to give it a name right there and then um, upon construction of the object it creates a random time so now that we have a thread this pretty much means each of these things instead of running right after another like they would if they were just a regular object they can all run at the same time so before we learned about threads whenever we created a new apple class it would have to do the constructor and do everything it did first before moving on to this one and then after that it moved on to this one but now that we have three threads instead of one long program in essence this is three things running at the same time so it gets done three times as fast as it usually would so now that we have a thread we need to start it so what start whenever we call start the objects or the threads run is automatically going to be called we don't have to call run we all we have to do is call start and any code in here in the threads run is going to automatically be called so how do we do that all we do is t1 dot start right there and this is going to start the thread or in other words start the code in here so t1 just copy this t2 and t3 and why did I make this random time? Well, I'll show you right in a second. If I go ahead and click his application, run it, and I forgot to put a new line right here. Embarrassing, and now let me demonstrate that again. It says, one is sleeping for 419, three is sleeping for 876, and two is sleeping for 189. And if you're saying, all right, why doesn't it just go one two three well that's because your computer doesn't do it in it doesn't have to do it when you're creating threads in order one right after another and that's the beauty of threads these pretty much start all at the same time um i mean there's little bit difference but in essence they all start at the same time and why did i put how long it sleeps for because when a thread sleeps it pretty much does nothing but wait there it doesn't um, pull a burden on your CPU processor at all it just sits there and waits there and it pretty much allows for other stuff to happen so if you're saying alright when this thread gets done I want you to sleep and wait for other threads so what when two is sleeping it pretty much is just sitting there and chilling so that's why when it sleeps for a tenth of or excuse me like a twentieth or point one eight of a second then this one gets done sleeping first the next one to wake up is thread number one because it slept a medium amount of time but three it was lazy and decided to sleep the longest that's why three got done running so late so again what I want to demonstrate is instead of going right after another one two three these things run pretty much all at the same 
same time so it's pretty much randomized what one is going to appear first and this is also random and I want to display this because um, this says while it's sleeping it allows other threads to continue doing what they do so this is kind of the beauty of threads one more time that you can have multiple things running at the same time and this speeds up your program that's all I want to explain for this tutorial there is a ton more to go over in threads but for um, the sake of this tutorial that's all we need to know for now as we continue programming in games we'll learn later and even if this doesn't make sense now when I start using it in a game sometimes these just examples using it can be kind of confusing because it doesn't really do anything it's just an example but trust me why you'll see why this is useful later on but I needed to give you guys a quick intro or else I would never forget myself for it so that's all you need to know about threads for now if you want to learn more then go to the Java website or something or just wait for my tutorials but for now thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to check out the next tutorial where we will be pretty much building our very first beginning of a Java game. So thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.